Duque Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. Shaq's here. Kenny's here. Welcome to this edition of 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Memphis Grizzlies up against the Atlanta Hawks. Looking at the Hawks, they've talked about the importance of starting fast, playing with energy right off the tip. Let's face it, no team likes to play catch-up if they can avoid it. We'll see how it works for them tonight. And the Atlanta Hawks losing some major talent over the last few seasons. You're talking about Horford, uh, Millsap, Teague. Uh, Kenny, the rebuild is definitely on. Well, it's hard to see fans struggle, you know, watching their team. They're sitting there paying a lot of money, and things aren't getting the results that they want. But the youth movement was needed in Atlanta. They had to start over, and so these are the consequences. You know, this team already has a strong system in place. Most teams don't want to be stuck in the middle. I think, Ernie, that's why they hit that reset button. That's it for us for now. We send you to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports Group. It's time for some hoops at FedEx Forum, home of the Grizzlies, and we're bringing it to you live on 2K Sports. Sit back and enjoy this presentation of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Hello, everyone. With Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from our Hall of Famer on the sideline, David Aldridge. of a rare matchup these days. See Webb, two Boys clubs nice that do a great job of running offense through the big men down low, through the post. Oh yeah, playing back to the basket. Basketball is kind of becoming a bit of a lost art. When you, when you think about it, you can really play the point forward from the post. There was a guy to take dribbles in that post area for the whole 24 second shot clock, wait for a double team, and then he would pass it to a wide open Dan Marley to knock you in the head with a three pointer. And then it was a guy, Mark Jackson, and he would do the same as a point guard and pass it out to a big uh, like a Rick Smith or a Patrick Ewing to shoot the jumper. So you can definitely facilitate from the post. And even though it's becoming a lost art, hopefully there's a resurgence of it because players are so skilled they can pass from all areas of the floor. And that post, it gives you a unique angle to find shooters in the top and in the corners. Boy, it sure does. Take a break. A look at Take Atlanta's opening lineup. Two shots. And it sprints outside at the three with Collins down at the power forward. And it's young. Then there's Len. And he knocks down the first one. And looking at Prince's game, you know, he could be the ultimate complimentary player. A good shooter, doesn't need a ton of touches, solid enough on defense, and is showing signs of improvement. And both free throws good for Prince. And with Prince, his versatility between forward spots also is an asset to the team. And when I call Prince a complimentary player, I didn't mean it as a slight. It just plays with an approach and style that fits well with any team and any leading score. Players like him tend to have a long, productive career in our league. It, it goes down, but with no defender near him, no need to go to the fadeaway. The Atlanta shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group, only around 75%. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Len. Free throws good from Len. 111 left to play in the first quarter. Conley against Young. Here's Valanciunas and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Last season, the Grizzlies' offensive numbers plummeted. One area where they excelled, though, the free throw line. 
and shot a very high percentage from the charity stripe. Didn't get there as much as they would have liked, partly because they lack shot creators. First one falls for him. And he makes both free throws. Boy, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. The Hawks working the ball around. The kick out to Young. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Brantley can't get it to go. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, he did a great job of staying patient, letting the man make his move, then getting right up on the jump shot. Now, here is Young. Prince in the corner. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Len, and the dunk by Len. And, you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. Conley kicks to Valanciunas. Valanciunas. second left and the last shot before the buzzer is off it's a tie game in Memphis the second quarter coming up right after this break so don't go anywhere and some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far guys what's your take on the Grizzlies so far just playing suffocating defense that's been the difference here for them and really, for the whole first quarter, they've maintained their intensity. Let's see how long they can sustain it. So it's Atlanta now. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So on the four for Memphis. They've got Wright. C.J. Miles is out there with Noah. Then it's Brooks. And it's Valanciunas in at the center, filling out the middle. And the rejection by Valanciunas. And he gets it back. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. Chris, when you were playing, you moved between a couple teams. What's the hardest part about getting traded that fans may not understand? One is your ego. What's up? You don't want to usually leave. If you didn't ask for a trade, you don't want to leave that town, mm. that city, the fans, or your players that have become friends. Uh, if you happen to be a parent, think about it. Your kids may be switching schools in the middle of the year. What if you have a, a kid that's in his senior year of school and you have to be traded and you may have to take the family with you? So many just tough situations for individuals and for families. The bond you develop with fans in the city and players, uh, members of the organization is very strong. And so it's, it's a lot of times it's shocking and, and, and hurtful. It's how quickly can you adjust because that new team wants you and needs you back. Good insight. So it's Atlanta now. The Grizzlies making the shot. Shots good from Young. And easy to admire Young's confidence. Knows he has the ability to drain it from way outside. Now here's Wright. Kicks it to Miles. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Shot clock at six. Noah, the pass to Wright to come right back with the three of his own but it's no good the pass to Bazeman from outside the arc another three for Atlanta yeah and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second Bazemore against Wright about three seconds between shot and game clock and that one good and he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint. 
Baysmore on the wing. Carter outside. And a miss there on the triple. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Hawks lead by five. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Good to have you back. Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A competitive matchup for Atlanta in the first quarter. Nothing seemed to give way on either side of the scoring column as they wrapped up the period all knotted up. The second quarter largely belonged to them as they took charge of the game and jumped out to a five-point lead at the break. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? Defensively, they did a great job of contesting shots and making things difficult. They faced several attempted runs, and they came up with key, key stops. It was punch, counter punch there for a while, and it's close, but the fight is going on. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. They were really efficient, great approach offensively. Their shot selection was first rate. They were always working hard to get good looks. That can't change in the second half. They need to be just as well organized as they have been so far. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Welcome back, folks. Pleased to have you with us tonight again here at the FedEx Forum in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. It has been quite a game for Jonas Valanciunas. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. Terrific first half on offense. This is how you draw it up. We'll see if they can maintain that efficiency going forward. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. On the court for Atlanta, and it's Prince outside at the three with Collins down at the power forward. Then there's Len, and it's Young. Now here's Len. The nine-foot shot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That free throw good from Len. Both free throws good from Len. The son of former NBA coach Bernie Bickerstaff, JB got his first head coaching job here in Memphis. Yeah, I played for his father, uh, such an intense coach and, and, and with a deep playbook. And, and after Fisdale was fired, JB was named the Grizzlies interim head coach. Uh, before that, he had been an assistant in Charlotte, Minnesota, Houston. Uh, he's a young guy, but he's been around basketball a long time. And the Hawks with possession here. The Grizzlies making the shot. He kicks it to Prince. For Anderson and too long on the shot the Grizzlies trail by five three pointer no good that time and on an open look like that he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay shots good from young this is what the crowd comes to see young has that it factor Conley surveying the D and it's Valanciunas that time on the assist by Conley. Valanciunas has got 10 points in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Back to Young. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. 
Young's got the lead. Back up to eight now for the Hawks. You got to like seeing this from Young. Well, wanting to prove he's more than just a jump shoot. Allen Junis, good. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Young with the ball. Eight points for him. Herter. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. The third quarter comes to a close. The Hawks on top. They're up by six. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on the platter, and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Jackson is out there with Kyle Anderson. Then there's C.J. Miles. Then it's Conley, and it's Holiday in at the two-guard spot. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Now here's Conley. And there's the foul. It's on Dwayne Dedman. That's his first foul. Some changes for Memphis. Noah comes in for Kyle Anderson. And it's DeLon right in for Mike Conley. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Six-point game. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Just five on the clock. And it's Miles missing. Atlanta's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Baysmore on the wing. And he banks in the layup. Baysmore's got the lead up to eight now for Atlanta. The Grizzlies shooting the ball really well in this game, 58%. Bounce pass from right. And Miles kicks to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Right outside. On the top of the key, and it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Here's Bazemore. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Carter has it in the corner. Pass to Bembry. Just five on the clock. Out to Carter. Over Jackson. The rebound by Holiday. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Memphis. They trail by six. Here's Miles. Rebound Atlanta. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. I'm out called the Grizzlies. They're trailing by six. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? And they still got a little time to play with, so a three and a quick foul could make things interesting. And they can't waste any time. They got to get a three right off the inbound. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Trey Young. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. And so here's Memphis. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Anderson outside, lets the three fly. 
Collins grabs the miss. Fast break for Hawks. Finish off the break. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Yeah, talent in this league has it so that now pretty much every team can push the pace. You have to get back on defense. Timeout called. The Grizzlies, they're down by eight. Just two seconds left in the game. What's your take, guys? And this is what happens when you dig yourself a hole. It's hard to climb out of. Well, they can only blame themselves. A few missed opportunities, some miscues that they'd like to have back. It all adds up. Conley for three, buries it from outside. And look at the calm attitude of Conley. Amazing to staying in control and coming through in the clutch. And so the Hawks take the win. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. For Greg Anthony, Chris Webber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA. Presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.